Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to Forever Skies. Just sitting here staring at the airship and last time we had roughed in some, oh, kind of what we want the ship to look like in the end. And, well, this this isn't it. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the concept of getting up alongside the balloon. Just not quite right here and so blunt and in your face. Um, so... We'll keep playing with this, see what we can come up with. M-Ban wrote in with some suggestions, and we'll see if we can implement some of those. I had already discovered that you could do something like this. Catwalks, I was working on one time, and I went up there and went, Ooh, you can put them up above. I didn't know why I would ever want to do that, but you could. You know, if you want to, some kind of a roof up here or something, I don't know. Because you can't put outdoor... Um, wrong button. Can't put outdoor floors out here. You know, it won't let you unless you unless you cheese it a little bit, like we did last time, accidentally with that uh, that bubble room, that uh, the, the glass corner. So that's one way to do that. But you can get the catwalks up there. It turns out you can also get something he pointed out. Well, let's see here. R R. You can get these guys up there. Which means you could then put... Do I have it on me? I do not. You can then put the uh, turbine up there. There we go. What is that, number three? So we could get much higher. And walk around here and be much more comfortable. So we could definitely employ something like that if we, you know, put enough of them around so that it looked like it was meant to be that way. Then we'd be able to mount that to it and not have it look so weird. So that's a possibility. The other suggestion was that we could put flooring outside by using the, the, the uh, tactic that we discovered with the bubble room. Let's just do it real quick as an example putting this guy outside just to see what it looked like allowed the ability, we found it by accident, to put a floor underneath. And so we could put a glass floor. You know, I've always wanted to have a glass floor right here so I can see out better. Sitting in there, I can look both the sides and behind me and in front of me and see everything. If we popped a regular room right here, and a bubble right there we could change the floor but what was brought up was that the bottom side of these floors are these lights so either we have the advantage of putting a glass floor out there and looking down or we have the advantage of putting a metal floor out there so that it lights up the underside as you're lowering down you can see better so both have their advantages and a bit kind of interesting um, now, the disadvantage is that you cannot put outdoor things on an... Well, I don't know that for sure. Let's find out. Can you put outdoor things on an indoor floor when it is outside? Uh, let's, we'll play with metal for now. Pop you in there. Take you away, leaving you behind. Can I pick you up? Where are you? There you are. And three, and put you. I can. Ooh. So we could use this to put some nice outdoor flooring out here. And we could mix it up so that some of it is glass and some of it is lighted. Hmm. If it was nighttime, right? Well, you can kind of see it. See the brightness down there? So can I. I still can't quite see it, but you, you get the idea. There's lights underneath. So we could light up over there. Hmm. So there's lights under that panel. And then glass here and here. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Mixes up a little bit. So there are lots of possibilities. Problem is, it would take so long to do each one. Build a room, build the glass bubble, put the floor in, delete the glass bubble, try and build another room. In other words, the glass bubble won't just mount anywhere, will it? Um, two, there, there, what do they call this thing? A viewing corner, okay. 
So I guess we could just kind of stick this here and there. I'd have to build a room, a real room right here in order to get it to go over here. And then I have to pull the cockpit off and build a room in order to attach it to the front to put another floor in there and then get rid of all this. And yeah, there's a lot of work to do to make this happen. It, it'd be a nice effect, you know, it'd look good in the end. But I don't know that I want to try to record all of that. I may do part of it and just show you the results afterwards um, because this will quickly turn into a three hour episode and I, I want to finish the ship this time regardless. So let's see, what am I doing here? Foods, I've got some foods, anything in the cooker? Yeah, I've got one more in the cooker. So I've got these guys I'm working with. They're 40s and a day 15 and a day 23. So a day and a half and two days worth. Okay. Um, so let me let me do some work off camera and get at least the front part figured out and then I'll be right back. Okay, well I cleaned up the front here a little bit. I thought I'd go ahead and record this part. Let's pull this cockpit off and let's put in another room just as a placeholder so that I could put in this guy in front. Let's see, R, like that. It does work. Okay, let's put a metal floor under this one. Right there, that one. Then we can pull this one back off, pull this one back off, and put the cockpit back in. Right there. And then put the glass floor back in. We'll just we'll just check this out, see how well it how well it really works. Um, glass floor there. And what do I need here? I need you to go there. And I guess I can throw that back in too. Okay, so five goes here in the center, and four just to get it out of my inventory. Hello. Why do you not like that spot? So you want to be up in there. Okay. So at that point, we can uh, lift off. Well, I can kind of see the lights. We'll see more as it gets darker. Let's, yeah, I think that's probably the better way to test it. Not quite dark enough yet. We're at sunset, but not enough. I need you up just a touch. Except you got to really push it to get it started. So down at 28 and a half, right there. <laughs> okay, so I'll keep working. I'm going to put glass here. And, well, okay, tell you what. Let's just go ahead and do this. We're going to 2 and delete these guys. Okay, get rid of that. Put in a room. Not enough inventory space because I'm going to be pulling things off the wall, oh, the door. Okay, so what can I get rid of? Let's get rid of one round of metal. There, and one round of you guys, that should clear it up. Okay, so to do this, jump back out over here I was over <laughs> I wasn't on top of this platform that would have been sudden death okay room right nope right there and then right here so that I can put a viewing corner so like the bubble butt room better viewing corner right over here R we can put a glass floor under that one and then we can delete that corner that wasn't a glass floor Arr, try it again okay so this one floor that one okay now we delete this Okay, that's getting there. I wonder if I need lights on all of these in order to make it show up enough. That may be so. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta work quicker before this lightning starts up. So hold on. 
Okay, well the storm is finally fading. Got some work done, had to had to buckle down for a storm, but here's the idea. So we've got the ability to see below us when landing, and all of these floor panels are lighted underneath, so they're gonna light up the landing. Still don't have any running lights or headlights to show what's in front of us, but at least we can look down and get a sense of what's going on. I kinda like that idea. So good suggestions. Um, placing railings out here is tough. It gets a little confused between this and this. Let me show you an example. Oh, over here it's fine. Out over there you've really got to find just the right hitbox. And actually it's yeah, it, it, it's an in and out and urgh, there it is. So, but let's think about doing this for a little while just to see what they look like. Okay, let's do a half one. Of course, the half ones I wish you could rotate. Oh, we cannot put a half one in there. Now, could I do this? Yeah, that looks good. And does that do half of it? It does the whole thing. Okay, that's interesting. So, without falling off, I can put catwalks over here. But, yeah, we could then... Let's see here. Yeah, we'll leave this three wide here. I want to go out there with another row. But let's put this guy in there. And do I have it with me? I do. Let's pop this guy back in. Five. He can live up here. And can I R? I cannot. Why are we... Okay, so we're hitting over there. So we need to go at least at this point right here. And we can kick that up all the way into there and... Just pretend that that's part of the framing and is meant to be there. So what are we looking like now? Ooh, that looks pretty good. It's nice and high. Without it being, you know, off the top of this guy way up there. Just kind of floating in the air. It looks weird. Okay, so there's a beginning. And let's see. I've got this guy here in slot number three. And what is his front? He goes like so. And he sits probably like this. Hydration level is decreasing. Hydration level is decreasing. Food level is decreasing. Three. Let's... I think I want the corner gone there. I wish I could round it out a little bit more. It's kind of blunt over here. But let's put in two half catwalk there and R there and then a full one here uh, there R there we go and I'll get one side done so you can kind of see what's going on I don't know if I want another full one there or not yet we'll see um, three you're gonna go here and tuck you in as far as it will let me like that leaves two to step off onto something we're pulling up to and another one of these guys right here. Yeah. Well, actually right over here. So, what goes here? Where's our original duck deck guns? Let's go get those. And grab some food on the way. Right there. Toss you in. Consume you. And water. Uh, one will do for now. Deck gun. So let's grab just one of you. See Q. And these guys take batteries. And the extraction, uh, handheld extractor, takes batteries. This guy's free. So it does make sense not to make use of it once in a while. Problem is, where do I want them? And do I want a railing? next to them, you know, up against like so. Do I have like this? I think that's going to block me too much. So he needs to be with no railing. Which means he needs to be like right here. And I believe this guy needs to go away. Okay. You can't... St well, you can step off there. Hmm. Q. And three... Interesting. So how do I release him? Toggle snap. 
rotate R in place. So now I can rotate? No. Oh, now we can go diagonals. Okay. So if I were to go there... Yeah, I like it. We'll board here, or we'll board over here. So railings will be appropriate for that. Okay, so I'm going to get to work on making the other half look like this half, which took quite a bit. I had to build a room, build that, that viewing corner next to each one of these individually. I couldn't just lay them all out as soon as I took this room away. It was just a void. So I had to drop another viewing bubble right here, put a floor in, and then pull it out and back and repeat and rinse and yeah it, it took a while so let me work on the other side and I will be back but first I gotta do some fishing so see you guys in a bit okay starting to take shape got the I'm up here I'm up on top jump down got the second one of these guys built so we can be symmetrical and these guys can be my my attack sentries you might say all of this incoming debris. Well, I guess wind's blowing this way this time. Yeah, I can't see any. By the last storm, it just started slamming in from this side, busting up and falling. Constant waterfall of debris just falling off the side of the ship. It was quite a show. Anyway, these guys will be taking them out as I'm flying. At least that's the plan. I gotta find enough batteries to make that happen. I moved this guy. I got to thinking, I prefer to come off of this turn and be at the door. So being up in here, turn, and then I gotta, let's see, how, how do I get in? Oh, it's over here. That's right. And yeah, it's kind of nice to walk straight out, take out a target, back right back in, go back and fly. So I like him right out the first door. So I put the other one, no, was about to put you, and we are inside the catwalk. Okay, so right about there. And so this is a docking place. Let's, docking in the sense that uh, this is where I will pull up to a roof and jump out. So let's put another couple of these out here just to suggest that. I could go further, but that's the point for now. Um, railings up around the corners and rain catchers out here. I thought looked better than over here under this guy. It just Let's put them out in the rain. It just, just makes more sense. So maybe a couple of mechanical ones and a couple of passive ones. And we'll always have water available to us. Alright, so it's coming together. Cockpit. I can look down around me, even behind me. All of these floor panels are lit from below, so they will help guide us in at night. Now what? Let's, let's see if I taken care of everything. I think I have. Got some got another meal. Let's well let's not do that yet. What happens next? I want to play with the ladder room going up just so we can say we did that. It's not necessary. I can put the engines up high just fine and it'll look it'll look fine. But I thought it was kind of interesting to do that. So let's play with this. I don't want it to be as big as the entire ship. I don't think I've got enough capacity. We're at 1200 out of 21. Time we add one, two, three, four, five, six rooms times two plus whatever is up above. Yeah, we're gonna run out of room pretty quick. So Let's think about... i got to think about the floor, too. Have I done all the floors and ceilings so far? I have. Okay. Um, let's leave a space, and then bubble out, and then ladder room, and then bubble back. And then go up the ladder room to a room with doors, so that we can open the doors and service the engines or something like that go up and fuel them and repair them. That's an idea. So, leave a space and put a bubble. Right there. Can I, or will, do I have to build the other room first? Oh, right there. Okay. So you're going into there. And then build a room. No. Build a ladder room. And ladder to the back, I think, would be wisest. Right there. Which I don't know makes it sound like it makes it feel like I should have two rooms there then. So I'm getting up in the middle rather than 
I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then a bubble room, a viewing corner, I guess if I want to be more precise, right there. Just to kind of give us this little, I don't know, let's, let's, let's pull out and look at this from the side, see what we think. Am I in the air enough? I think I am. Yeah, I can pull over. That's interesting. Let's pop one up so we can get a more of the full effect of what, what it is I'm trying to do. So, to put one up, and I'm not used to this. Yeah, that kind of ruins this plan. Hmm. Does, and if I put that here instead, which would look better, three wide, what do I do with this space? With that window wall right here? Because I want two of them for a kitchen. I want the kitchen to be next to this. So do I push this back one more? We could do that. Yeah, let's do that before it gets we, we, we uh, get too committed to this one. Let's push it back one more so I can have a, a double room without interruption. And then we'll, we'll bubble out the, the ship toward the backside. Okay, so two and delete you. You, boy, this is always spooky to me. I know you can't delete the room that you're in. It says blocked by player, but still, <laughs> I'm standing over a certain death if this goes wrong. And I'm a little uncomfortable about you just kind of sitting out over here. Yeah. Hmm. And I'll have to get into this, which means i got to move both of those. We'll see. But let's go ahead and put in the bubble room. So two and that one and that one and R... And then a, re a ladder room with ladder to the back. And then can I put in, without taking all this off, I do have space, so I probably can. Um, but will I lose the battery in there? I don't know. You, right there, and there it is. Okay. So that means this one most likely goes away. And then we could pop another one right here if we wanted to. I don't know, that's your change in the look I had imagined for the ship, though. I liked the different compartments going down the length. That's a little too wide open. It's hard to figure out what to do with a room that's too wide. Once you start to separate it out into spaces, then it's easier to figure out that the water, for example goes over here although I need to we'll pop a glass wall into this one so what do we need here that why is everything so angry we got a power we're out of power and I got rid of the battery charger <laughs> okay battery charger where can you go where you're not gonna be disturbed again temporarily you can go right over here uh, that is number four like so, and I think I've still got a charge right there. Good. Pop you in there. Now that we've got the ability to charge it, it seems like this building tool sure goes away fast. Runs out. No, storm's not allowed. Urgh. I've got an awful lot of repair kits. Let's see what happens. Though, I need to be docked if it's going to do any good, if I'm correct. Okay, we're officially docked. Let's see if this helps or if we still get hit. We are down quite low, so we'll see. Um, window wall. Two. There. And then five, which was the whole point here, goes... Actually, I can put you dead center and as high as I can. Like that. Let's go make two more of those. Get the kitchen set up. We'll, we'll build the house around the kitchen. Yeah, I think I think I've, houses have been built that way before. And another fabricator might also be kind of nice. I could use making two of these at once right now, but can't make a fabricator when the fabricator's being used. Um, you're probably a quick one, aren't you? You're one of the very first. No. Yeah, you do take some time. 
I'll wait here for this one, then we'll let the other one just build. But I want to put three of these in. What else do I need? Synthetics. And I'll tell you what, let's grab another one and grab a metal. Okay. So you, another one of those. Let's go put this one up. Yeah, four. These guys merge into each other real nice. Like it's one big unit. Requires dirty water. Okay. So three of those, the cookers, can be moved over. Uh, three. There we go. And E, grab you. Q. Okay. Cookers can come over. They could sit on a table. We can put a table right here and then the cookers on top, but then there's not enough room for these guys to be above. So I think I, unless I can find a really low table, I think I will leave them on the floor for now. So four, put you in like so. And five, right next to you. That looks pretty symmetrical. Okay, so another water up there and that part of the kitchen will be done. Then we can get into refrigerators and freezers from here and storage cabinets. So really this probably needs to be a real wall, not a glass wall. Something like that. Then we can put cabinets up on the wall or storage down on the floor or refrigerators or tables or workspaces, whatever we want to do. So a kitchen space right in there. We can still see through. So another space here with glass looking out and another you know solid wall for more cabinets that was the thought but then we've got this and I like this I don't know what to do with it unless we put this on the back end that's an interesting idea mount the engines out there put some of the upper catwalks around if we have to hmm Okay. Well, let's keep that one in mind. I'll leave that there for now. Let's go ahead and put the upper room in, though, just to see what it would have been like. So, right there, I think you're in place. Okay. And I much prefer to put a... Let's see here. You would actually be a door. Can I do you? I can. You would be a door. So, I can mount this, go up, not feel like I'm falling through. So, you go forward when you come off that thing. It's like, whoops! Ah! So, I don't like walking into a nothing. So, you would be a door. I can open you up. And we could then... What? That I don't know. I can step out into here. Though I already hit my head. Now I've got a little bit of room. We can crouch and walk around un underneath this balloon. Kind of cool. And I had thought maybe an engine mounted here up on... Okay, so the door needs to be here, and that just needs to be a wall. Okay, let's do that. Uh, there, pull you off, and you will be just a glass wall. So, let's see, there, there, and here, window wall. You will be the door. And more window wall and more window wall. We're not gonna do this permanently here. I think this is the plan for the back end, with an engine out both sides and maybe the the turbines back out there too I don't know but yeah that's that's an interesting idea well I just took a break from the game for a moment the studio and the computer was getting hot and started up again decided let's go somewhere else for a while and and then I thought you know let's pause and grab all the materials off of there and walked across and fell through. For some reason, when I popped out of the game and back in again, it didn't maintain that glass floor. This one's still here. This one is not. I wonder... <laughs> we're we're kind of cheating the system here by putting indoor things on the outside for effect, but I don't have a lot of confidence at the moment that it's going to be able to, uh, to maintain... The integrity of the ship while doing this I'm pretty sure that floor was there before I turned the, the game off so I'm gonna put it back in which means I gotta tear everything down and rebuild and 
make it happen again and if this ever disappears again then we're gonna have to give up with this idea and just put catwalks back in but um, here hold on a minute okay so that is back in place put the other one of the other turbines out here put the railings up around the top got everything kind of finished off up there now let's get back to where I was before I fell to my death it was not pretty screaming like a little girl the whole works um up and let's grab what materials are available over here with the deck gun that is free to use right there you and a couple of glass in the back there we are and I think there was some synthetics around here don't see the other one forgot the water there okay yeah, and I walked over and walked over like this and fell. Let's grab the waters. Inventory is full. So drink and grab those and as much as I can there. Yeah. Again, I wish these stripes were in all of these glass panels. I have to get onto their uh, their Discord and suggest that heavily. Um, what am I doing? I'm over here now. Water the kitchen's over here now. You pop into there, and I need more drinks and more eats, which this needs to get moved now. Can I just do that? I kind of can, right? Yeah. Uh, eat you and Q you. We'll put in a better box here soon, or even wall cabinets when we find them. But that is three right there. And drop you guys off. One, two, three, four. And the sodas. That it? Okay. Um, that water wasn't there. Yeah, that'll do for now. There's... Oh, I see. I put all the waters in here that would have been with the foods over there. Okay. Well, we're... Boy, we're definitely filling up our uh, water supply once again. And for the rest of this series, I'm going to be afraid to step on that space. <laughs> So let's put you in there, get you working. Now, I wanted to head down below here and see what new things show up. Then we will continue working. So that is a 180. Spin you around. Where? Oh, hello. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> I knew, knew that tower was here somewhere. There we go. Aim at it. Ah, pretty close. There's. Boom. We got kind of a storm coming. These guys are coming in hard and fast, and I do need more materials. So let's pop you in and turn you on. And did I have any more batteries in any of these containers? I don't think I do. I think I was out of batteries. Let me just verify that. I've got the crystal batteries and the ability to make lots more. Nope, that's it. Okay. So that one gun is going to have to keep us uh, safe and protected. And he's doing a pretty good job there. Oh, missed one. Oh, boom. That, that did some damage. Yeah, we're on fire out there. Knock it off. Boy, they've really made these things more aggressive during storms now. Yep, yeah, we got pounded on there. Okay, where am I going? I'm heading there. I'm looking for a lily pad one. There's one right over there. Let's just go there right now. Pass by these guys. We can always go back to them. But I want to park somewhere. Hey, who put that building in front of us? I want to park somewhere that... Oh, I want to see if this guy will take this out. Right there. There we go. Where's my altitude? Boom. And it collapses. That's quite a scene. There's another one hiding down in there. If I can get him down low enough to tempt him to do it. No, I'm I'm at low altitude. It's right there, guy. No, no, no. Right in front of us. It's right there. Aim. Yeah. Not too excited about AI taking over the world. Yeah, it's just it doesn't have that human intuition just doesn't have it anyway we're heading around this guy let's get some altitude again 
And metal's what I need, guy. Take out the metals. Now, with the upgrade version of this, I could set all of those tanks to metal, and he would only work on metal. So, swing around this guy, and... Now, it's pretty much right in front of us, so that little guy over there. Now, last time we found one of these, it wasn't quite the same, so we'll see what it is here. But if I drop down low enough, he should be able to grab some copper. How close am I really, though? Oh, yeah, you got that one. Good. Or at least he was trying to. I think I went too fast. There we go. Should see it show up. Yeah, in that far left tank. A little orange line just showed up. Um, boom, boom. What's the boom, boom? A bunch of red. We weren't near that blade. Probably more of these guys. What was that noise? Fuel depleted one engine. Okay, so I'm heading for orange flashing light there. So oh, there's more metal. Yeah, grab the metal. Thank you. And can we get there with the fuel we have left? Almost no. Okay, so you just do your thing for a while. And what do I need over here? We've got a little bit of helium and a little bit more of that. And not enough of this. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, let's go put this guy up real quick. I did that once before I fell through the world. There we go. And I'm getting tired again. So what am I doing? Fuel. Engine, fuel, synthetic. Alright. So let's grab what we have. Whichever one is empty. What just happened? Give me my game back. There we go. I must have hit the tilde and accidentally went into a odd mode of some kind all right so you're going there and it is the other fuel that's in the other one so either way that gets us to our destination hello grab one of you drop you into five yeah can't have that and don't fall through <laughs> and there and don't fall through. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. I'm gonna be gun shy now. That was that's quite the experience. Okay, continue forward and swing over here. Yeah, if we have batteries in both these guys, you can see how they'll carve a path for us. You just filled up. Yeah, pop you. Let you continue your job and a little more of this. was some kind of an announcement I just heard. I thought I did. Our, our computer lady voice. Alright, right there. Grab it. Oh, I see the metal is just about full too. Perfect. Which means the battery's almost dead. There's only enough battery... Whoa, back up. I think there's only enough battery to fill all four containers once. I think it's timed that way. But I want to go down here. Let's get down into the two... 20 range. No, that's still not a real low one. Well, we'll see. We'll go around the other side and pull in. I want to get the one that was early on that lets you... Hey, knock it off. That lets you get down to 220. In fact, it warns you that you're too low. Is this one of those or is this a different model of that? Swinging in. Oh, this looks like it is one of those. Good. Perfect. All right, right there. Drop down in. It's not nighttime, so I can't use my lights, but I do like being able to see all of that way. It just didn't kill me by disappearing on me. Okay, let's drop out right there. Low altitude. Low altitude. Yeah, she's not going to be happy. Pull up just a touch. All right, so with that, let's think about the rest of the plan here this double module could be a bedroom this double over here could be a fabrication room they flew right through the ship <laughs> they flew here and went out there if I saw that right <laughs> boy we need walls <laughs> okay bug 
Poncho, right? I th I'm going to have a hard time remembering that name, but we'll, we'll go with that for now. E, grab you, and let's, let's see, let's see. Q? Yeah, pick you up. And for now, let's just drop you over here. So three, drop you in. E, and re transfer you. Okay, so this can all go away if I have room. I think I do. Yeah, I think it'll fit. Calories are decre decreasing though. Let's get that taken care of real quick. Uh, no bugs left. Okay, pop out here. Get you going. Yeah, we're clear. Good. And tool and delete up above first. And then glass and glass and cannot get this guy in. So what do we need to do? Well, you think I could. Try that again. Oh, I can. I thought there was red in there. Okay, so you are done. Turn, put you away. Grab food. Lettuce. And lost it. Okay, lure is gone. We seem to be in a pathway for over here, right? For moth swarms. Are we out of lures? I think we're out of lures. Yeah. What's the chance that I can go out there on that platform and find a lure in that little house? Bet it's pretty good. That's why I had extra water. Okay. That's where you came from. Right there. Okay. Drink. Yeah. Drink. One of you... Boy, I gotta get used to where everything is now. Put you in there, grab you. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Um, well, I have one empty. Let's grab... Well, it's raining. We got plenty of water. Don't have to worry about empties. I was gonna say this. Have enough space to be able to grab everything out of there, but let's go see what's over here while that's cooking. Down below, we've got that down there, which gives us more fuel. A lot of people I've noticed don't like dealing with the biomass fuel, but for me, it's just one more interesting thing to do. Another variety in the game. That works for me. Alright, what have we got here? Repair patches. Is that? Yep, there's a fuel. And... There... What was that? Cooker is done. You. Data card. Uh, paint tools for dark pink and jungle toad. What the heck's a jungle toad? What color is that? Okay, we've got a membrane. Anything up above? I feel like that was too quick. There. Did miss something. Okay. Out of you. Any drinks? No, do have a ladder though. Where does that take us? Nothing up here. Okay. Now, anything else to do? Don't see a sun melon out there. But we will check all those. Uh, can I land on that? Don't jump too far. There we go. And I can land on that. Okay. Sun melon? No. Nope. Okay. Ah, there's water. And a bruise flower. Single bruise flower doesn't do you a lot of good. Got another one out over there. And yeah, I think I'll pass on those, but no sun melons. Darn. That makes a nice allure. Alright, do I have the knife? I don't have the knife with me. I've never not had my knife with me until I started remodeling the ship. Okay, to there... Need to sleep again. Ooh, we got lights underneath. There we go. Look at that. Well, almost looks good. Gotta wait for it to get a little bit darker. Just low enough to still be able to get onto the ship up front there. Okay. So, more waters. No, I need to have one empty. 
I don't have an empty. Well, we'll just top you off and wait till we drink five. Okay, foods. Nope, didn't get foods. We got that. Inventory is full, so we'll just hold the E down. Hold it down a little longer. There we go. Let's grab a quick rest. And what are you? Synthetic fuel. Don't have room for you. All right, let's top off the, uh, the sleep. Don't need to go too far. In fact, we're nice and dark now. So that should... Well, that's as dark as we get, huh? Okay, well, maybe on some of the other platforms it'll look more impressive. Right now, uh, what do I want here? I want that one. Yeah, there's some light down there. Let's go forward some. Right there. Now we can see the light from behind as well. Yep, that looks good. Okay, drop back down. And let's continue working on this beast. Where's the 220? There you are. Not lock. Okay, so R is rotate and E is everything else. And hard to not get those guys mixed up. So what is next? Let's work on tearing the, the butt off this ship. We're down low enough now that a lightning storm can't harm us. That's what I was going for. And what do I need to do? Let's get rid of some synthetics. I need some space. Take the top row off. Take you off. And actually, I need a lot more. Let's pull you out and you out. I'm going to be disassembling a lot of stuff. So let's drop all of these in place. Um, plastics we're dropping into here. And synthetics. Did I ever finish one of these? No. No, so we still have a little bit of something in there. Oh, a knife. We do want the knife when we go back out there and make more fuel. So, knife. I thought you were there. You must have been here. Yeah. You're my normally my number three slot. I kind of trust you that you're always there. And Okay. Um, tear this apart. Which means removing the engines. Um, Q? No, fuel. Okay, got to deal with that. And I'm going to have to deal with all the boxes. More moths flying through the ship. <laughs> okay, drop you. No, don't drop you. I'm going to have to move the box. So, Q. And let's get everything, I guess, just kind of up beyond those empty floor spaces so I can work on the floors. So, Q, let's see, four. Drop you in there. And let's drop off fuel-related things. And that will do for now. I see we have a filter we can drop off over here. What is with the sleep? Feels like we just did that. I know I didn't go all the way. I guess let's just go all the way and get this done. Alright. Let's sleep this off. Okay. You're done. And let's get some food going. Am I clear? I am clear. I need a lure. Did not find a lure over there. That's right. Alright, let's just make a simple lure and get that going. That's a quick one, so I'll hang around. Printing completed. And let's see. Drink some water. One, two, three. Sure. We could make some space here and work off of at least one of these guys. Okay. That makes things happy for a little while. I would like to make another lure, another f insect catcher. And I can do that right now. Perfect. Get two of those going down at the same time, which means another lure, too. And then two of them dropped into the cookers at the same time. That just feels a lot more efficient. And you are the advanced one. So I'll have to advance you as well. But drop you in there. Get you cooking. Come back over here. Grab this guy. Make a lure. Caution. A, storm is a storm is coming. But I can ignore you this time. Um, you're a four. Uh, let's see. The upgrade station is over here. Where do you go long term? Put you in there, put you in there. So, that kind of goes in here. OK, 
Okay. Well, I know you're going to be a door. You're going to be probably... Probably a real wall. Hmm. I guess either way, it's a blind spot. I'm looking out here. But I do get a view out that diagonal. So you could be a glass wall, you could be a, a solid wall. And the equipment can be all through here. Which means I need to move you again. So, but, wow. That was close, but it didn't hit the ship. So grab you. Did you ever... You didn't. Okay, let's just eat you and be done. You're right there, and we are in good shape for the rest of this episode. Okay, let's get you out of here. So open, grab that one, and Q, and put you right there. And we're going to put you where you're not going to be in the way for a while. Cockpit, um, outside, can't do you outside, so five, you're going to go there, and E, you're going to drop in. All right, so four would probably go best hmm think about that kind of yeah you know, I guess research doesn't need to be in this area so you could be there door could be there but I gotta grab parts for that what was the door two Door is electric elements. So I need you back. Need more of you back. And possibly. Oh, I got 75 metal. Okay. So let's drop a door in just to see what it takes to walk around this guy. That might be just too big. But I want storage cabinets all through here. So. Or else reverse that. Um, you. Door there. And for that matter, door there and door there. Open, open, open. And we'll do the same thing over here, but later. I want to make sure it'll run out of components. But getting in and out of here, it feels pretty restrictive. Hmm. I think it needs to be there. I think so. Okay. So, Q, U. And four. Drop you in right there you could actually stick out just a little bit is there an advantage to that I don't know we'll go with that okay so fabricator would come down to this area too am I doing that right you know I'm not I just realized this is where that goes this central area here not the front. I'm not sure what is the front. But that's that's probably more the medical equipment. I like that better. Alright, so give me two and a metal floor there. I can't do that. Oh, I can do that there. I can pick up the bed. Don't have enough room for these guys yet. Okay. And a glass wall right there. There we go. You. and Okay. So... One of these needs to be metal wall. Which one? Um, if I'm going to do that, then I may as well make them both metal walls. S cabinets above all the way around. And then something out in the middle. And then equipment. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's pop you out. Just because I don't trust I'm going to get back all the materials again. Let's put a metal wall here. And a metal wall here. Here, out of resources. Uh, didn't notice what it was. Is it metal? It was metal. Okay. And metal wall there. Glass wall there. Pick you up. Put you over here. Five. Okay, so you're going to go there ish. I just don't know what goes next to you or in front of you. That's all cabinets. That's all cabinets. Let's think here. Fabricator could be here, and that could be there. Alright. Now, is there... A, am I missing one? Is there also another one that builds the indoor furniture? Let me think about that. Research. I don't have a battery. Okay. So, furniture is... 
Another device. I've got upgrade station. Is the one that I haven't found. I'm trying to remember if the up. I don't think it's the upgrades. Is there's an, there's another device? There is. We got to get back out there and start searching. Uh, probably more of the question mark kind of buildings. It seems like there's one more station that goes in, and that's what really goes in next to the fabricator. Okay. Well, let's pick you up. Uh, Q and bed. Where is the? Let's put the bed over here just to get it out of the inventory. That's good enough for the moment. Okay, so fabricator's gonna go in here, probably where this guy is. You are the stuff I dumped so that I wouldn't have to deal with you again. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of just living in this area at the moment. All right, so you are gonna be fuel-like things one more time. Yeah, fabricator, I think could go here, and that is right there. Let's see. I think that's backwards. There we go. So you're there for the moment. And five. I think that puts you... Could you go there? Well, I bet you could. I bet you could. Five. Q. And five in there. Which means I need to get that window wall in first. If you accidentally nudge it into the space just a little bit, you then can't build this. And it gets complicated. So, two. And build window wall need synthetics. Boy, I'll be glad when this job is done and I've got everything organized in places where it's easy to get to. Alright, one more time. Window wall right there. Am I done? These will both be window walls, I believe. Um, though I'm not going to do that yet just in case I don't have enough glass and I can't build the back of the ship so 5 goes here RR and there and as far this way as I can right there fabricator is 4 and RR RR yeah, that, there is any advantage to doing this don't think so because I'll be grabbing materials and swinging around and working on it there okay so you are there and you could be out just a little bit I don't have to cram you in too tight right there yep that works okay so storage of all of this kind of stuff is going to go in this space and the research could be somewhere else it could be right over there it really could so let's pull you out of here. We've got to empty this area anyway. Too bad I don't already have the wall cabinets found. You are going to drop in like so. And I'd love to put you over here, but the uh, uh, the control panel is on that side. So it's hard to get to when anything else is already over here. So I need you as far out this way as I can. All right. So what's left back over here that has to go? You can go over here just to dump you somewhere and engines I don't need to go anywhere so let's go ahead and queue you and queue you and drop both of you up in here and you as well that's all going to go yeah, going to go up top when we get to that point, which I doubt is going to be this episode. we got a lot going on right now. A bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And can I cue you? Yeah, position blocked. Okay, let's get out of this. What am I, four? Four. Now can I cue it? Pick up. Nope, inventory is full. So let's dump as much into you as I can. All the arrows and the gun... And insect catcher. Need to get back to that. Drop you in there. And one of you in there. Let's go deal with that. You're, where's the upgrade? Here's the upgrade. And do not need power for that. Good. So you also need epoxy machine parts and transformer. Alright. So let's grab you and you. Epoxy, 
a stack of you and build a transformer it's right there yeah build one of you and we'll get that done get him placed outside and be done with that um, cook station cook station notice how the water level is high in this one and low in this one let's just be a, a random graphic interesting are right, you done you're done okay over here what do I need now there you are okay get you going we'll get you done so kitchen is gonna start flushing out you're gonna be overflow from here we've also got this guy so toss let's just trade toss you in there and anything else I can trace and get rid of this football um, not really okay so four that's not a four there we go you can be in this area position blocked something like that okay and maybe that becomes a real wall and there's a wall cabinet right in there for supplies for this guy that could be okay raining again printing completed all right you're done let's get you positioned out here like so they could be fairly close to each other don't need a, a square for each yep that looks good now another lure fabricators over here now food lure great now oh, that's right you're quick you're done let's get you going and just for fun let's send you down and send you down that's what I'm talking about all right so you're empty you're empty pick you up toss you I guess just toss you kind of over here for as an overflow for more miscellaneous stuff like you know footballs perfect and let's toss engines in there okay no engines should be in the fuel box temporarily that makes a lot more sense which went I uh, get this out of my face four fuel box went where I don't remember wasn't you you yeah fuel box boom 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 okay that's done uh, both of these came up we've got you and you drop over here drop one in um, add water and go and dump you grab water toss you in top off oil did I already top that off hmm okay so both are cooking need food soon and what's next need to put this floor in before it gets forgotten metal floor and need to dump more of these guys so boy I wish it was possible I need a battery let's go get a battery this stuff can cook I had played this on another where can I not fall off for another game just for myself for fun while I was doing some of those renovations and in that game I had the wall cabinets and I'm trying to remember if we ever discovered them here or not I already got the battery dude it's right there <laughs> So we have done this place. We, we are done here. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, let's get this guy live. And just make sure that I'm not... Uh, yeah. So balloon. Filtering bottle. Okay, that's that was the other use for the colander. I knew there was one more use. Otherwise, healing fuel and fabricator. Um, yeah, we could do that just to make sure it gets a placeholder. Get the other fabricator going so control one of you and there let's get working on you so if I was gonna have two fabricators hmm would they have to be right next to each other I guess the other one could be like right there yeah I like that so your research what's it take we never made one originally so one more transformer and two circuit boards. Can I build a transformer real quick? I still can. And 
two circuit boards? Three circuit boards. I said two, but I have a memory of three. How about we grab them all? Okay, so you're working on that. So we're still tearing this down, which means we need more storage. Temporary storage to hold these things. So you guys go there. And temporary storage is going by the bed. Yeah, let's do that. This room's not going to be disturbed for a while. So four can go into real tight right there. And five. Tight enough that it doesn't get into that floor right there. Okay. So what did I just do? I made a transformer so I could make a fabricator which takes another electrical element which I no longer have, right? Yeah, we're done with that. Electrical element can be made, though. You are right in there, and you take that. Okay, pop you out. You're pretty quick. You're quick enough. I'll just hang around. Okay, now tools, fabricator, perfect. All right, so let's start doing some major transferring, which is getting easier now that we're using up all of our materials. All right, so... Uh, bed. This box here is going to be all of this kinds of stuffs. This box here is kind of everything else. Uh, put all three of those up on top. Three of those there, glass and copper. All right, so they're done. They're almost done. Oh boy, these are quite full. Okay. Yep, we're done. All right, so I can still grab another box. Don't have any left in here. Let's grab this box, Q, and this one. And in front of those. And three, four, but the other three right there. Let's drop all of the crystals and those kind of things. Um, fluids there. What's left? Empty bottles, which don't seem to me to really deserve the space, but we'll do it. More fluids there. And both polymers there, which pull you back and put you in there. That all kind of matches. You're going to go there one of you and we are now ready to get back to work so there dump off more of those there is that okay so with that what did we just make we made a fabricator so I'm thinking this guy could just park himself right over here like that so Whichever one's more convenient, and then a backup. Otherwise, we're upgrading here, and we will be making furniture and whatnot on something that may end up sitting right over here, and rotate these guys around a little bit, and all of the supplies storage in this area. Okay, let's get this all torn apart. We're empty up above. We are. So, without falling to my doom, let's pull all this apart. There. Take that row out over there. You, you, getting uncomfortable, pulling back. Is there a hit spot out here? There's not. There, there. Ah, okay. And let's pull off these two rooms and then put our bubbles back in. No, we're not done yet. Turn you away. I've got to cue you. And Q U. Alright, now is there room in here yet? There kind of is. Let's drop you two. Let's get these guys and eat. Uh, this one runs out fast. It's 23 and a day 23. So we'll grab you and just toss you for a moment. And then water. Right there. That gets us by for a while. All right, little by little we'll get this done. Not standing in the room two and center click and pull all these materials out of here. So that one, 
that one, that one, hello, and there, and can I do both? Let's do the door, and then we'll do the room. Okay, pull you back, put in a ladder room, so there, and I need plastic scrap. This one? That one. 25 of you. Ladder room. Now. Yeah, I suppose ladder at the very back would make the most sense. Yeah. Build you. And floor you. Uh, what do I want here? This one? Metal floor. And then... Up above, we want another room. Hard to find the right spot. You're going to fight me, aren't you? Invalid position. Oh, we're not out in the air. Oh, that is a problem. I didn't think of that. Oh, darn. That would have been nice. But I don't want to sacrifice one of my rooms for three wide. We can still put the uh, the bubble rooms there. Now, how do... Uh, let's reverse this. And let's put this guy back in RR. Right here. Okay. Let's put a... What do you need? You need glass. Grab that stack and put you in here. Put you in here. Okay, we've got our what we were hoping for, but the ladder is not where I wanted it to be. You need to be a glass window. Let's just make that happen right now. Right there, window wall. Okay, so we are safely sealed in. Let's put a metal floor in. Good. And I've got room, so let's put the metal floor in here. Right there. And we can dump off. Cannot there, but we've got space here. Yeah, randomness. There and there. You are a note sticker. That's my exit sign. Put you there. All right. So, no more exit out here. Um, yeah, there needs to be an exit out here. Pull you back. And put a door in. Door is going to need another electrical element. Yeah, we need to go raid some more uh, low-level platforms. Electrical element needs copper. Pull over here. Grab the copper. Right there. That's... There we go. Electrical element... We'll put a door in there so we can still put a railing out the back end. Alright, so door goes back in here. Metal, or door. Okay, you're done. Now, heading up into here, we will not fall off. We're backwards. Alright, so if we do this, we can still get up here if we want to. Crouch. No, we can't. Does not like that. Okay. So that's not going to happen. Not under the balloon. We've got to be outside of the balloon. Okay. Well, it was a fun idea, but I've taken way too much of this series trying to make all this happen, unless I do it all off camera. But, I've, yeah, I've got to scrap this whole thing. Probably do it here instead. Out the back side. I've, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to rethink all of this. So this needs to not be a ladder room. So let's pull you out again, pull you out again, and put in a regular room, like that. We talked about making a bubble butt anyway, so we still accomplished that goal. And putting on a door to this one, good, and some, I'll, I'll spin the ship around and put, put the butt over a, uh, over a platform, so I'm not trying to do that. I don't know what to do with the floor here. i got to think about that. But looking down the ship now, 
That was the idea I originally had. Now picture cabinets up on walls and workbenches and maybe an eating area and you know table and chairs. Um, bedroom is probably going to be here now. This could be the office. Yeah, there's there's more to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue this series for a while. I'm enjoying it, unless they send an update into the game that breaks everything. And you know, games have done that before. And when I start up next time, I'm checking that spot. Uh, I'll find out that it's fine. Then I'll walk over here and fall to my death again. But yeah, that that was really odd. I know I didn't delete that. I'll go back and, through the editing and make sure that uh, I'm not mistaken. But I'm pretty sure that was there before I saved the game, and it was not there afterward. But let's call this done at this point, right? Yeah, let's spend next episode collecting supplies. Let's hit a bunch more platforms, go back and hit the ones that we missed, and start building up supplies. Find a question mark to go and explore. Uh, nothing new has jumped in, but yeah, we can clean up this whole mess and head this way. And see what shows up on the map. I like that. We got a whole new. F oh, oh, there's one right there. Okay, so we'll clean up these real quick and head this way. See if we can find something that has got a cabinet, wall cabinet. And if you guys happen to know where the wall cabinet is, what you know, what kind of platform? I'm guessing it is a wind uh, farm type of a platform uh, right there that. It was turned into something else, like the command center or something like that. That's where we're going to find it. But, anyway, let's call this one done. Me and Poncho are going to get some sleep, and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you next time, folks. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.